Hi, this is Nitya, Kesar College of Arts and Science for Women, Assistant Professor of English, Commonwealth Literature, Unit 1, Poetry, Ode on the Death of W.B. Eats by A.J.M. Smartha. He was born in the 1902 and died in 1980 and he is a Canadian poet and anthologist. He is a prominent member of a group, the Montreal Group. His writings most probably based on natural beauty, ruggedness of his uh, homeland of Canada. In this poem, he paid a tribute and also it is a kind of a mourning for the death of uh, W.B. Eats. And he wrote this poem uh, in the form of uh, ode. Ode means it is addressing someone. In this poem, he addressed the person W.B. Eats. Next poem, Australia by A.D. Hope. He was born in the year 1907 and died in 2000. He is an Australian poet, essayist, critic, teacher and academician. He is the 20th century greatest of the 18th century poet. That is the name he got it. This poem, it has seven stanzas, each stanza having four lines. It's about the condition of native Australian. And uh, so how the beautiful young Australia became uh, desert because of modern war. So this is the concept uh, he discussed in this uh, poem. And also how the native uh, citizens of Australia, they got, uh, they didn't get uh, equal rights in their own land itself. He discussed in this poem. Next poem, Time by Alan Carnot. He was born in the year 1911 and died 2001. He is a 20th century New Zealand poet and journalist. So his writings reflect the landscape of uh, New Zealand. Here the time as a personified, uh, personified and also time speaks himself its autobiography. And first four, uh, four stanzas uh, discuss the uh, time as a persona and who is timeless. And remaining stanzas uh, discuss uh, time as a uh, omnipresent. And according to him, time is not measurable in the past, present and future. This is a concept he discussed in this poem. Next poem, A Far Cry from Africa by Sir Derek Walcott. He was born in the year 1930 and died in 2017. He is a St. Lucian poet and playwright. He got Nobel Prize in Literature. Always he utters, English language is my poetry of imagination. This poem published in the year 1962 and focused on the British rule in Kenya. How Kenyan people, they troubled because of racism and cultural issues, everything because of British colonization. Especially he discussed the Kikuyu tribe people, they are generally they called as Mamao. Half they opposed to British and finally half they exposed their patriotic ideas. So this is the concept he discussed in this poem. Next, A Journey to the Interior by Margaret Atwood. She was born in the year 1936, present living author. Uh, she is at the age of 80 years, is a Canadian poet, critic, teacher, environment activist, inventor and feminist. So she received uh, more than 50 many honors, degrees. Uh, she received in her uh, career. So this poem is an ambiguous poem because she compared it to journey, mental journey and physical journey of uh, a man, a human, a journey, a a journey, have a journey in physically and also mentally. How they uh, managed the stages. So she compared uh, and explained the three stages of journey, meditation, similarity, differences and existence. How each human they come out uh, and how they tackle to their difficulties physical uh, in physical journey as well as mental journey. This is the concept uh, she discussed in this poem. Thank you.